Hello everybody, welcome back to another Kerbal Space Program video. In today's video, we are going to be building the new Chinese space station. Yes, in the air, boosters, launch, rocket. Yeah, you need rockets to build space stations, don't you? So yeah, uh, the objective of today's video is going to be recreating the new Tiangong station, uh, which is going to be created by China. The first module was launched just about a week ago, uh, but prior to recording this video, and it just created all sorts of problems, I'm sure you do know about oh my that was such a meme wasn't it where you know the booster just we just yeah that was fun wasn't it <laughs> uh yeah so we're for sure going to be doing some uncontrolled booster entries in this in this video because you know china means china uh but yes this is the tengong station it is a three main module station launched by uh the long march 5b rocket uh, which has four core, four boosters, which you saw just separate right there. And then it has a core stage, uh, which is going to power the thing all the way up into orbit. So the first module is basically, it's very similar to the Soviet Zvezda module. The, so the Russians did kind of sell, I guess it's a Russian, not really a Soviet module, but Russian Soviet, same thing, comrade. Um, yeah, the, the technology was sold to the Chinese. Um, so they did, so, yeah, it's very similar to a Zvezda module, which is the, the core module, which is one that was launched just a few little while ago. Uh, this is China's biggest and most ambitious space station so far. Um, it's going to be three modules. They've never really done that. They've really only done just glorified, like, docking two spacecraft together. It's, it's barely even space stations before. This is like a proper pull, a giant thing here. So, um, we have our first, uh, first launch has been completed. So now we're going to drift on up to our Apsilapsilis. And then you're going to do a little bit of a circularization burn and, uh, yeah, get ready to deploy our payload, which is loving, like, wobbly around, but that's, ah, that's fine. Welcome to KSP, right? Wobbly, wobbly, all sorts of weird crack and stuff always has to happen in KSP. Uh, yeah, it's been a while since I've done a video. It's been literally, like, almost a week, two, two weeks. It's been a while. It's just, yeah, I don't know. If you don't know, I did this ridiculous stream where I streamed for like three days straight. So, uh, yeah, I kind of uh, a little bit uh, burnt out for a, day for a little while, if you could imagine. Um, but we're back. We're doing epic videos. We're coming back with nothing other than Epic China Station, right? Very epic China Station. Um, so, yeah, if you're enjoying the video, I mean, we have a subscribe button. I don't know. You could press it. We're getting close to passing Gameplay Review UK. We're within, as of recording, I think 500 subs and films. I don't know. I don't know. We're going to have like a, like a T-Series versus... PewDiePie, but like Pyola versus me, probably not. It's just, I don't know, it's a fun thing. But if you want to, you know, maybe, or maybe you like gameplay better and you want to, I don't know, um, sub to me and support. But either way, thank you for everyone who has subs. You guys are awesome. We had 11,000 subscribers today. And uh, thank you everyone who's also joined our Discord server. You guys are also the best. We also have members. We have members. Those guys are the best. And uh, yeah, just thank you everyone who's supported the channel. And oh my, our, our, our booster has been. Oh no, it looks like we're, our payload's been deployed, and oh no, we have, oh no, we have lost control of the booster. This wasn't planned. We are not very neglectful with our rockets. This isn't the thing we do. We are responsible. We protect the space dolphins. Oh, jeez, or the land dolphins. The land dolphins. Yes, the land dolphins. This, China! Oh, this China's such a meme. And but there it goes. Also, KSP re-entry heating. Very not that bad. Like, that entire core stage survived, which is, aside from the engines, which is kind of wild, wacko, but oh well. Point is, it's gonna go crashing down into the ocean just like the real, real booster. Let's hope this isn't a problem in future Long March 5B launches. It has been a problem in every single Long March 5B launch so far, so there probably won't be any surprises when the next module goes up in the next few months and we have this whole same thing again. But speaking of the next module, it is going up. So the main module is the uh, Svezda module. And then China has like two customish built modules um, that are mainly like science modules. So you're going to be launching one of them now and then we're launching the other one next. It's crazy how that works. So uh, we are now in the air at the Long March 5B, which has a very high TWR. My KSP variant version does. The real one has a pretty normal TWR. But so yeah, um, just because Paleo so it is ridiculously easy to get an orbiting KSP, like it's crazy. But uh, our boost is just about ready to separate as we come through max Q right about now. And through 10 kilometers, throttling back up. And now these side cores are going to get a boost or staged away. I can't speak, can I? And it's really late, guys. I said I would get this video done today, and I am, I am doing it, even though it's 2 a.m. in the morning tomorrow. So technically I failed, but either way. Um, we are uh, we're, we're burning with the core stage on its way up to orbit. We're going to be doing a rendezvous with the uh, with our with our I'll just call it the Zvezda module. It's called something. It's some Chinese name it has, obviously. Um, but after we get the third launch done, uh, which will be coming up in the next few minutes, we're going to actually uh, go launch our Long March 2F and launch some crew up to the station. Which Long March 2F is a really interesting rocket. So I don't know. Stay tuned. Do your attention. All right. But I, I think it is pretty cool. Like interesting story. Am I right? Um, Speaking of interesting stories, Electron kind of failed. That was sad. Either way, uh, while we're doing this, uh, so <laughs> if you guys don't know, I do this thing at the end of my videos. 
um, one of the member perks, if you become a member, you hit the join button. Not so subtle plugs, um, is you get to get your, your name shouted out at the end of the video. I have like this little picture that shows all the members. But we have like literally 41 of them right now. So I feel like that that's that's a lot to, to write out on TM, so I don't want to type them. So I'm going to just try and speed run and say everyone who's a member. So let's see how quickly I can get through this. Let's try and do this in 30, like 20 seconds. 20 seconds. Okay. Huge thank you to uh, How To Be Hamster P, Novacon, Games Only, Andrew Robinson, Comet Bricks, Leon, 21CS, Imagine About Tristan Spirit, Jackson, Franson, Only Just Tom, Pika Spin, Sox, uh, DK Johnson, 96, Daniel Snyder, Quality Simulations, Mikey Days, Kranit, Pleb Place, No Doggo, Palo Power, Green Curb, Alex, Human Fisher, the Chin Long, uh, Leha, Spacey Poop, New Music, The Swedes, SpaceX, K3, Vogtak, uh, Starship, uh, Raph, James, David, L, Dios, L, Los, uh, Chris Fee, The Light, Space Clips, SM15, Deer Crafter, Mo Mad and You, uh, Kerbuscraft, PL6969, UB Gaming, and Big, oh my gosh, I got through him. Oh, I forgot Patreon. Patreon uh, is uh, Majavi, Sven, Chandler, Sockwell, Bogdan, uh, Machichuk, uh, Turtsy, KSP, Race Cool, 007, Stargate, Zuber, Potato, Cena, I Love Pilot, 6969, and Big, oh my gosh, okay. So you guys have all been shouted out. Now I don't have to write the thing on the on the list. And huge thanks to Pika and Sodago for being the the, the, the tier four epic people. So thank you. If you would like, well, in all future videos you'll probably get it written out. But uh, there you go. Thank you, everyone, join member. All, all all you guys are the best. Join button. Point is, uh, we are now. We have docked the stations together, the second module. And this is only when I stupidly realized that I did not have the solar panels oriented correctly. So I have to kind of undock and do a little bit of a turny turny roll thing because. The solar panels have like jetted outside, like they wouldn't have been lined up equal, and that just that the OCD would not be able to handle that. I don't, I don't think even need OCD to not be able to handle that. I just you need, I think you need like a functioning brain. I don't. Know, I feel like that would like just everyone would that that feel weird, and it's also inaccurate. So um, they did a little bit of bumping into each other, which caused them to kind of drift apart. But we just kind of we have some RCS on board, so we can just they go ahead and correct that, and now I can get ready uh, for the third launch. Um, after we get these guys to dock together, and there it is, nice and docked, and then we can deploy the the the, uh, the the solar panels. They're nice and perfectly parallel to our little Zvezda. But this will I would not be complete without an uncontrolled booster entry. No way! I was actually started to have fun with this because KSP's entry heating. Oh my! It is like nothing. I, I know I said that earlier, but wow, it's really nothing. It really does not take this thing. Uh, did not did not like to blow up. So uh, you'll see what ended up happening. But I. Yeah, so there we go. Oh, no, are we lost control of our booster. No way. Like, okay, come on, Chai. You knew this was gonna happen, mate. Um, yeah, I know. China, man. They're China. I mean, hey, at least they're, I don't know. Team Space, yeah, but I'm not really Team China, to be fair. Um, like, they're just kind of the worst. So, <laughs> yeah. Um, I know, controversial opinion, but yeah, you can't. Dropping boosters is not really a. Oh my, but either way, one of my, en one of my engines actually managed to survive that entry, so I'm like, hey, can I, can I land this booster stage? I was like, hey, what if we, what if I just throttle it up, because I had a little bit of fuel left. I said, hey, maybe, what if, uh, maybe, maybe, it was having a real hard time correcting, and eventually the speed gets too low, and the gimbal can't really quite handle it, and... Oh. Well, hey, welcome to the third launch. I mean, yeah, that was kind of sad, it was never really going to land. Um, that thing was meant to just randomly crash, but I don't know, I thought it'd be fun. But anyway, we're now in our third launch, our second to final, our second to last, our second, our second to last launch of the video, our final launch of the, like, construction-y launches, then we'll just be sending a, a crew up on the Long March 2. It's a very cool rocket, as I said, uh, our final Long March 2B. With this in perspective, the Long March 2B is China's biggest rocket and carries it over 20 tons to, to Leo. Um, which is, uh, barely... And, 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 a, and a reused Falcon can carry, like, uh, just under 20 tons to uh, to Leo. So, this thing is, like, mar it, it's a little bit bigger than a Falcon. Um, it's it's about this, it's a, just a touch bigger than in a fully expended Falcon. So, this is, like, chi this is China's biggest rocket. To, to, like, put that, put that in crazy how crazy it is. Like, it's, like, a big deal when one of these things launches. They launch, like, only a few of them a year. Um, and that's, like, China's biggest rocket. And Falcon 9, which is only a little bit smaller than this thing, launches, like, once a week, basically. So, yeah, that's, that's just to put into perspective. SpaceX is, like, absurd launch cadence. It is absurd how quickly they can launch Falcons. It is really quite absurd. So, yeah, put that in perspective. And even put in perspective, like, Falcon 9 and uh, Atlas V are fairly comparable in size. And, yeah, I mean, we all know how often Atlas V launches. Um, like, oh, my... 
Like, Falcon 9, like, GG to SpaceX. People don't realize how big Falcon 9 is. Falcon 9 is a pretty chunky rocket, so... Yeah, uh, so now it's time to do our, our rendezvous with the other, this is our little science module thingy, which will be rendezvousing with our Zvezda and the other science module to complete the next Engong station, which is very, very, very cool. And then we will bring some crew up on the Shenzhou rocket, or the Shenzhou spacecraft, which is really a glorified Soyuz. Um, not barely even glorified, like m minor improvements, but hey, I mean, improvements are improvements. Um, so, yeah, I guess this is what China's been up to ever since they weren't allowed in the ISS. So, yeah, China's not allowed. If you didn't know, they're not allowed to participate in the International Space Station. Ah, we live in a world where Russia's allowed to participate, but China. That really says something about China. Like, oh, my. Um, so, either way, we have separated the module, and now it is going to uh, just uh, fly its way on over to the station. And it will do a little bit of a docking. And I think literally all of our dockings are on the nighttime side on this video, so I don't know that. Is that I don't know if you like that. Probably that probably less desirable. But anyway, um, and this time when I approach the module, I actually line up the solar panels correctly, so I don't have to do that weird undock redock thing because that was annoying. And here we go, bringing her in for a docking, and boop. All right, perfecto. All right, so then we're going to extend the solar panel, and that is basically the main structure of the station complete, but we are going to need to add some crew, because what's a, sp what's a space station without crew, right? So we're going to admire our glorious, amazing creation, and now we're going to crossfade to the Long March 2F, which you can clearly tell how inspired that is by a Soyuz. It's actually kind of really interesting how it's like, uh, you can tell that's a Soyuz, but that's not a Soyuz. It's, I don't I think I think it's cool. Um, how, how, how the, how you can see the design of the Soy is kind of morphing from time, or I guess the R7 booster, but, uh, it uses an upper stage very similar to a Soyuz, it uses a, the actual spacecraft itself that's very similar to a Soyuz, and the bottom stage is, like, it's very similar to a Soyuz also, but it doesn't really, it doesn't taper in that all, and the boosters aren't that weird, like, like, they're not that, you know, you know the very unique shape of a Soyuz booster, um, or an R7 booster. Um, but either way, um, these things, the bottom stage is up hard by YF-20Bs, there are four on the core and then one on each booster, as the boosters are going to be getting ready to, uh, separate right about now, and they're going to fly away very, very quickly, because Sepatrons have a lot of force, apparently. And then the, uh, center core will be, uh, jet will be separated very, not long after that, and then we can go to the launch escape system and the fairing, and there is our totally not a Soyuz, that's a Shenzhou, that is a unique Chinese creation. Um, like, uh, yeah. Um, the, really, the only modification that the Chinese made to the Soyuz is they made the, uh, the orbit module a little more cylindrical as opposed to rounded, which is that top bit. Um, just so the astronauts have a little bit more space, which is nice. Um, while they can, you know, uh, orbit around Earth and admire the beautiful creations of the Chinese Communist Party who a genocide. What? No genocide. There's no genocide going on. What? That's not a thing. See, here's the cool thing. I can't get demonetized. Um, or I can't get banned in China because YouTube is already banned in China, so <laughs> I can say whatever I want about the Chinese. Um, and their chat is like, uh, what? That doesn't happen. Uh, or sweatshops. Oh, no, no, that happens. Child labor, not a thing. This is a thing in China. What are we talking about? China is a very amazing country. Wouldn't we all like to go there? It's Xi Jinping, all, all praise Xi Jinping. So, um, our glorious supreme leader, general, Se he's a general secretary, I don't know. I, I saw this video, like, the astronauts on one of the Tangong, earlier Tangong stations talking to him, and they were like, Yes, Supreme Leader, or General Secretary, we are using your wisdom to guide us on our day-to-day -day mission. Like, oh boy, they really like him. And I'm you can see, see, he was just bored out of his mind. He was like, yeah, how are you guys doing? And they were like, yes, glorious General Secretary. We are honored by your... It was kind of silly. They were, it was uh, dictatorships, man. Um, it, was, it was very communism. Um, either way. Uh, we are now getting ready to, we have, we have separated our, our, our Shenzhou, um, uh, from our, from the Long March, or the, yeah, the Long March 2F, and now we're going to be docking it to the station, and we'll be delivering some crew to complete the epic Tian Gong station, with only minimal booster crashings in random places, but there it is, on the night, the light side, the day side, I think that is a pretty glorious creation, I don't know, maybe, maybe not, but, uh, hopefully you enjoyed the video, but that is the end of the video, so, uh, but I don't know, we'll see if you leave a like or not, or a comment, or whatever, but anyway, that's the end of the video, so like, thank you for watching, until next time, please do a comment to the video, and again, thank you for watching, until next time, and bye!